everybody. I got an announcement from Big Brother. Hold on, guys, I'm naked. I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Congratulations, house guests. We've survived the team twist, the BB roadkill, and even a double eviction. Good job, guys! Uh -oh. With just over a month until we crown a winner, there's still a lot of game left to play. But tonight, we're going to celebrate how far we've come with a party at the BB County Fair! Yay! Get ready to eat and drink, win prizes and perks, and enjoy a private musical performance from Ziggy Marley. What? Yeah, hey! Ziggy Marley! Meet me in the backyard! Yeah! Oh! Shut up! No! Dave! Look at Dave. Look at, Look at Bridge. Oh, she's super cute. Yeah! Tiffany. Right? It's cute. I walk out to the backyard and it is such a cute carnival. Kiss booth. I love it. Yes, they got a kiss booth. There's so many fun games. There's a dunk tank. All right, who's going into dunk tank? Whoa. Look at my beard. Whoa. And lots of food. Look, they got churros here. Oh, yeah. A candy bar. My favorite. Oh, yeah. Look at Frank. Oh my God. Why are all these past house guests here? Who invited them to the party? Not me. <laughs> Mama Day. Look at Jose. Jose's back. I don't know how I feel about that. Everybody, we gotta get a cheers. Cheers it. Cheers to. Friends. Everybody throw away a cheer. This is just awesome, guys. Cheers to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having such a great time at this carnival, and next thing you know, I look up, and it's Ziggy Marley himself. This is a dream come true, and such a break from what's been going on in the house. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! What's up? What's up? I'm gonna do a song called Weekends Long for you. It's from my record, so. Party. And I get to listen to Bob Marley's son, the Ziggy Marley. Are you joking? This is a musician's dream. Mucho friendship. In the midst of all the craziness, all the backstabbing line, you know, we get to take a break and listen to Ziggy Marley. And best thing all, I get to spend time with Natalie, and it makes me feel like just a little bit I'm on the outside spending time with my girl. Cause now we are emancipated. Woo! You guys, good luck! One more song! One more song! Look at Jose. Actually, he probably wouldn't wear that. No. He's supposed to be in his underwear, his mankini. Jose, I'm glad you're really not here because you were after me and you thought you were the Messiah, so see you later. <laughs> <laughs> this game is insane. This game is crazy. For right now, I'm safe when yeah. it comes to the majority of the house. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm like a Messiah for the newbies. I observe. Sit back like a hawk. <laughs> if everybody stuck together in this world there will be no armies no fighting no wars no nothing so why can't we do that in here i feel like i'm pre I'm, I'm preaching like obama <laughs> scenarios are scenarios somebody else go up we make a scenario for that somebody else go up for that we make a scenario for that some people want to keep somebody some people don't want to keep this person i i only i'm only one brain 
county can speak the truth and then have people decide. You know? What's the truth you're speaking? Scenarios. I hope that America feeds how they don't call me the glue. Oh, yeah? I stick people together. Who'd you stick together? Everyone. I'm just, I feel like I'm like the messiah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember Z's birthday party? I'll never forget that night. The cake yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The striptease. <laughs> Ladies, these men have been working hard all week long. The very sexy. Woo! The very hot. Oh! Hot to try. Woo! Give it up for me. The boys have something planned, and I'm excited to see what it is. Now, I heard we got a birthday in the building. Am I right? So who's the special birthday girl? And what's your name? Zakia. Zakia. Boys, we got Zakia's birthday in the building. Here we go. Five, six. Seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm like blushing, I'm sweating, I'm uncomfortable, but at the same time, I can't stop looking. Birthday in the building. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing, birthday girl? Up in the building. Holly is giving me this lap dance, and I'm like, Bay, you sexy and all, but my mom probably watching this. Calm down. Okay, you know, Frank, Tiffany, Davon, they're huge personalities. But good thing, they blew each other's games up and targeted each other. You know this is all because you targeted me for no reason whatsoever. No, it's because you were targeting me. It's the only reason I came after you. 100% never did. Well, never was. Tell that to your girl Day right there, because she's the one that told me you were coming after me. I, I swear. I never said I was coming after you. Well, then I'm and that's you. why I was so shocked, and that's what made me so angry. They told me that you were coming after me. She said Tiffany came up to me and wants to come after me, wants to give all girls a lie to go after you. They told me that. I have those girls. They want the boys out, so I'm making it a thing, an all girls thing. I'm gonna try to rally up those three for you. I swear on everything she told me that. Frank said that Day went to him and said that I tried to start an all girls alliance, and I did tell that to Day, so how would it, he know that if it didn't come from Day? I swear on everything. Come on, let's talk, Jeff. Y'all can said, talk how y'all want to. I said, I said, Go have y'all no, moment. you told me in the bathroom. Go have y'all moment. Frank, I don't even talk to you. What do you mean? You told me in the bathroom that she was going to put me up. I don't talk to you. I don't talk to you. Okay, well, now she's just lying. That's good. Just I lie. I love that you're just lying. You're, you're right now just lying to everybody. Who is everybody? Everybody's sitting right here. Like I said, I don't talk to you. Well, you told me in the bathroom Tiffany's coming after you. I right? never said yeah. that to you. Yeah, you did. You told me Tiffany came to you to talk to you about Lies. getting with, uh, with Bronte Lies. and Natalie and that she wanted to come after me. She's a liar. She's trying to, that's why she yelled and walked out. So let's be honest then, since everybody is clearing the air. Like, you, you've been running around telling everybody to put me on the block? Well, that's talk true. Because that? that's true. Want to talk about that? You know that's true. Want to talk about that? Yeah. Because we can deal with that. As it's true, then. I want to send you home. We can deal with that. I want, I want to send but you home. But guess where I'm not going? Home. Guess where you going? Home. I'm not going home this week. Oh, but it was I'm not going week. home this week. It's plenty of weeks. It's plenty of weeks. It's to plenty go. of weeks, Dad. They took swings at you and they got That's you. That's why you wanted you started drama you. on your season? They got you. You started drama on your I season, they got you no sent home and you started drama this season. I didn't start no drama on Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm not worried about no damn prank. <laughs> Step right up. It's time to see how many dollar dollar bills y'all can snag in this game. One at a time, you'll throw one dart at the balloon target wall, 
and you can keep any money that comes out of the balloon you pop. Shut the front door. Each balloon will have various monetary prizes all the way up to $5,000. It's time to play Darts for Dollars. Crap, I wish I was sober. <laughs> you got the black dart. Come on, bud. Get it. Yeah. I got five hundo! Yay! Yay, ball! Yay! Dark games are right up my alley. It's time to win some cash, baby. Hey! Twenty-five dollars! Yeah! Twenty-five cents! I don't even feel bad! Don't spend it all in one place, bro. I don't feel bad at all. You got it. Yay! Yeah. What is it? 750. Oh! Yay! Come on, babe. Hit that 5,000. Oh. oh my god, I suck at darts. Maybe I should just change up my strategy and go for the pink one since I love pink. Oh, I know. Yay! There it is! Yes! Destiny, we got the same one! I'm trying to tell you, girl. I have a feeling Meech is going to get the five grand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, Meech. Oh, oh it's okay, Meech. Oh, it's okay, Meech. Oh, oh, sucks at darts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of course, the one competition that doesn't really freaking matter in this house, Victor stinks at. I really wish that he would bring this performance to, you know, the HOH and Vito, so that way I could kick his butt. You could battle your way back in this house. You can't hit a dart on a balloon, bro. Dude, it's embarrassing at this point. A comp that I can't do. Throw darts. Yay! It better be good, Vic. It better be good. Five hundo. I did absolutely terrible at this dart game. I didn't win the 5K, but at least no one else did either. That was fun. Hey, James, come over to the kissing booth. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going in. We're going in. Aww. Going in. Oh. Did you guys I missed it. <laughs> this has been a summer of showmances. Ours is my favorite. Aww. So I have a secret. A cousin to somebody or something. No, 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 no. But I was an NFL cheerleader for three years. What? It's not yeah. funny. I swear. It's not funny. <laughs> I was top NFL cheerleader in 2015. Top five. Oh my God. Is America now? Um, America knows. <laughs> I was in bed. Shut up. But the NFL cheerleader. Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Answer in a weird voice. Hello? Who's this? Who? I'm, I'm trying to get a hold of Natalie. Oh, hello? What's up, babe? Oh, hey. What's going on? Nothing. I was just about to put on my cowgirl boots. Oh, cowgirl boots? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you got a plaid shirt and the Daisy Dukes? Yeah, and I recently got a cowboy hat. There's a lot of girls I flirt with in the house, but uh, I definitely like to flirt with Natalie the most. She's super sweet. She's just the right height. Smile for days. She's just awesome. If I got stuck on an island, I would choose to get stuck with James. I'd climb the highest trees to bring Natalie some coconuts. <laughs> Me and Natalie, you know, we like to do some things together. I try to teach her how to dance. Yay! We have a lot of GT. Um, it's girl, girl talk, I think. So how was your day, Ben? Oh, it's been really nice. Wow, James. Every once in a while, she needs a good laugh, and I'm always there for her when she needs that. <laughs> James joking! <laughs> <laughs> Ow, James, I hate you! James, he's the person in the real world that I would actually date, and he makes me feel really good, and I hope that I make him feel really good, too. My hands and my feet are always cold. <laughs> I just don't want to hurt him, and I don't want him to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? So I just have to give it time. 
and see where it all goes. <laughs> Natalie Mercedes Negrade. It was the first day of Big Brother. And I saw your face. Yes, Lord. You better say yes, girl. <laughs> and I told a lot of people, no showmance. And when I saw your face, to get my ring out. Yes! How was that? That was all right, right? That, that was good. good. <laughs> that was good. You know, I didn't have a real ring, so I didn't want to mess it up. Spending the summer with Natalie has been amazing. We always have good times and we can fight in each other. Who knows? There might be a proposal in the future. Oh, I'm gonna get her when she least expects it. <laughs> James, you are the cutest human ever. Well, I'd have to say my favorite showman in the house is Corey and Nicole. Oh! Do y'all wanna come up to the kissing booth? Yeah! Give me a kiss. Yeah, come on! I'm turning red. Why don't you give me a kiss? Yeah! Oh! Get the booth. I don't really like to kiss in front of anybody. What will five hundred dollars give me? Oh. <laughs> You're a really good cuddler. You're a good cuddler too. You're just the right size. But do you think like I'm a good size just for like someone shorter, or do you think I'm a good size for like any height? Like someone that's like over six four. <laughs> Is there anybody that you know that's six four? <laughs> I definitely did not come into this house looking for any type of showmance, but I've never met a boy like Corey, and I don't think I'd ever meet a guy like him again. Corey is like the best looking guy I've ever seen in real life. Like, there's not one thing I changed about him. So I just get a little distracted. Lipstick on your mouth. I kissed him. Oh. I kissed him, and Natalie kissed me. And She's getting pissed. No, I'm not. It's not just us. What about Polly and Zakia? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Mm. Like that. But he's so cute. Polly. Yeah, he's like an ideal like mate. Hey, babe. I missed you. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but he won't make any moves. Like, he just won't do it. I play too many games. I don't play no games. Right now, you play any game, so. Like, maybe he, I'm not a kissable person or something. I don't know. Like, he just won't. Give him a kiss. Jeez. Give him a kiss. 820, there it is. We're going to work on that. We're gonna work on that. Maybe my breath is hot. Just give him a little kiss. Kiss him. What the? You didn't hear. Oh. Hey! Sweating right now. You should just take your sweatpants off. I can't right now. I don't have underwear. The showmances in the game of Big Brother are never a good idea. Eat grease in the night. I don't know. I don't have no bed. I'd have an extra little spot. My strategy was not talk to y'all. Really? I said no, getting too close. However, it is very hard to resist Zakia. She's obviously s stunningly beautiful, and her personality makes her even more so. <laughs> <coughs> Why are you always feeling like this? Why are you always feeling like this? I really like Polly, but. Sometimes it's really hot and cold with him. You can sleep up here and I'll sleep downstairs. That way you can finally have a good night's rest. I thought that's what I was doing. No, but that, that's true. Cool. Okay. One minute we're flirting and we're happy. Next minute he's flirting with somebody else. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, one, two, three. Woo! Oops. I just can't get a good read on him sometimes. I see like your little massage on the arm, rub his hair. No, we don't do that back home. So at this point, I'm just over it. So Zakia could be a little bit jealous and possessive at times. I'm salty. I'm salty as hell. And now she's becoming unpredictable. Only makes me want to move myself further away from her. What's on your mind? 
Oh no, I don't know what's going on. With what? Anything anymore. I thought you just wanted to talk to me about whatever. Holly, you don't realize like how you're how you're doing this like to me, but you're making you're making me feel like bad. We're sitting there all last night, arms around each other, everything. I don't understand why you would think something else. Like like I have no emotion when I'm it comes to I'm not saying that you have you. no emotion, but my thing is it's like you're you're I'm not gonna sit there and have an argument every single Time. Look, Holly, can you just stop being cold. cold to me for no reason? I ain't being cold. You are. I ain't being cold. We're having a conversation. You're being cold right now. I'm talking logically to you're you. Being, but you're being so cold you want, about it. Do you want me to be I passionate ne I never felt, and, and be upset I never about felt it, be anything negative. About it. I'm talk logical about it. I'm logical when I talk. Ooh. There's no reason for you to flip out. I don't know what else to say right now. Like, I feel stupid. <laughs> You need to relax. Oh my god. I don't know what more needs to be said. I came here to play. I didn't come here to babysit. You're trying to make it be something way more complex than it is. Don't tell me what I'm trying to do. Okay. This conversation's over. See? America's favorite hunk, Mr. Pectacular, is here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. OK, you can stop. No, go on. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. People love watching me wrestle all over the world. To ensure that you can all watch me anytime from anywhere, you're going to play a little game for a chance to win Mr. Pectacular's Tech Pack Spectacular containing a brand new 50 inch 4K TV, oh. a new tablet, oh. but wait, there's more, a new smartphone. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. You all get five attempts to dunk me, and the person with the most dunks will win Mr. Pectacular's Tech Pack Spectacular. Oh. Who's ready to play dunk? A hunk. <laughs> Mr. Pectacular kind of made me feel like a little boy. Let's see if those pecs really work as life preservers. Let's go, Corey. This is right up my alley. I played baseball. Charge the mound. It's a small target, but I'm about to pound that zone. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah. Corey. You're doing it. Holy crap, Corey. I thought you were like a pro baseball player. Maybe you were more like the bat boy. Throw it with your left hand. Come on. Damn it! <laughs> I look even better when I have like water on me. So, Wait a second, how's my hair look? It looks great. All right, cool. Let's rock it. I didn't do well at the darts, but hopefully I can dunk Mr. Pectacular because I just want to be good at one competition. Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh. No. I'll, get, I'll get that for you. <laughs> I can't do it. Come on, Jamesy. You got it. Yeah. Oh. Throw it like a road cone. Woo. Oh, oh, no. I thought you had me. Just kidding. This is for not answering my tweet. Really? Thank you. He tweets me all the time. <laughs> that was close. Hey, take a shoe off. There it is. Oh. 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 James, yeah. Oh. Oh. If anybody needs a TV, it's the guy that lives with his parents. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, battle of the muscles. 
The showdown between Mr. Spectacular and El Fitbit. There you go. <laughs> 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 I can jump my pecs like Mr. Spectacular, and I dunked the hunk and won the TV package. Yeah! Congratulations, Victor! You have won Mr. Spectacular's Tech Pack Spectacular! Woo! You did, sir! You did! Boom! <laughs> Applause! Now! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you! Spectacular! That was really funny. It can be really stressful in this house, but what keeps us going is all the laughs. One thing that I love about the Big Brother house is I never know what I'm gonna hear. There's some pretty freaking crazy conversations. <laughs> That's true. You got, you got a lot of sun on your chest and arms. Good. I didn't put sunblock on until like 30, 30 minutes prior. You're gonna get boob wrinkles though. That's what I heard. <laughs> I already have boob wrinkles. It's not fun. See, if you go like that, then you will, you would have boob wrinkles. Push them together. What? Wait, what? Some of the best moments in history could be defined by being in the right place at the right time. And this is one of those moments. When I spread them out, when I spread it out, I still have it. If you like to have boob wrinkles, you have to have, they have to be pushed together, which mine aren't. Prove it. I'll show and tell my boob wrinkles. This is them. You see? Boob wrinkles. Oh, little. Mm -hmm. But that's if they're like pushed together. Mine are nowhere like Oh, no, that. I don't see it. You see it? So for those of you watching at home, the clinical definition of boob wrinkles is actually the wrinkles that develop right here around the chest caused by the mass of the boobs outweighing the elasticity of the skin. You see it? I, re I really don't see it. Maybe it's because my sunglasses are on. Were you able to see it? Did, were you able to see it? Yeah. Am I not looking at the right thing? Because you're too busy looking at the boo. No, I wasn't. I was looking at the wrinkles. We've definitely all had a ton of fun this summer. It got a lot funner when you came back, Victor. Thank you, Meech. The one person that likes having the fun the most is James with his freaking pranks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Pranking James a couple times myself. I think I have the upper hand here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where? Which? <laughs> Where's James? You should come see me. Is that you smelling all good in here? Really? I smell good? Somebody smells good. I never smell good. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> got you! I got you, James. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I went straight to my fighting stance. <laughs> Where did my earring go? What? Oh, my God! <laughs> Not everybody in this house love pranks, Victor. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he's a light sleeper, man. My shoot's tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get some sleep, and if I'm gonna wake up because of a prank, it better be better than crackers in my bed. <laughs> oh my god. Some idiot threw crackers in my bed, and I'm pretty sure I know who it is. So how's everybody doing? I need to stop doing that, bro. I just don't want ants, bro. Those are fire ants? The ants, the little black ants. They bite? The f does it matter if they bite or not? They're ants nonetheless. They don't bite. They're not fire I ants. I don't care not. if they bite or not. I don't want them anywhere. They're, you're going to have them regardless. And it makes it easier if you keep throwing in our room, man. It's stupid. 
All those dumbass pranks? Yeah. Very petty, bro. Well, you need to lighten up, bro. You need to stop doing that. You need to lighten up, bro. Lighten up. You need to stop doing that, man. Big it's brother 18, cool. lighten up, bro. And you're not at home anymore. You don't have to be so wound up. It's not about being wound up, man. So what do you do for fun? Hopscots, play jump rope. I definitely gotta watch who I prank in the house. I know Victor's off limits now. This kid could blow up, and I don't want him blowing up on me over a silly prank. See all these pies? First thing I think, I wanna throw them right at you, Nicole. <laughs> You're pretty messy, but nothing's messier than our competition. Oh! Oh! Told you it! Oh, wow. My dreams came true. I showered in glitter. Oh. 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 What the heck? <laughs> that was the worst chest bump of my life. I know. You gotta have a technique. Nice and easy. I finally find Dizzy Dog. All I need to do is. You alright, Beach? You alright? <laughs> That's no bueno. <laughs> Look, I don't know about you guys, but uh, those pies over there are looking pretty good. Victor points over to those pies, and I'm thinking, oh, Big Brother's got another game up their sleeves, and it better not be what I'm thinking, not with this beard. The BB County Fair is in full swing, and we have one more game that could be very sweet for some of you. It's time to put that mouth to good use and go head first into the pie of your choosing to find out who will be a have not this week. Without using your hands, dive face first in your pie and pull your chip out with your mouth. But there's more at stake than just being a have not because one pie will give you an advantage in the next HOH game. Oh. You'll learn more about that at the HOH competition. It's time to fill your pie hole. Pick a numbered pie now. I love eating pies. Finally, a game I can be good at. And honestly, I'm just hoping I get the advantage to the next HOH competition. Prepare for pie! Have you guys ever done this before? Yes. No. Gets in your nose. Here we go. This is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ooh, that's good. Dang it! I did not want to be a half nut. Half. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, you too, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a clown nose. Hey, can someone give me a towel? I literally yeah, can't open my eyes. Here. All I can honestly think about is how much I really need an advantage in the next HOH. I have this safety suit, but it's gonna be over in the next HOH competition. I really need any help I can get because honestly, I feel very outnumbered at this point. I didn't want to be a have not. Not only am I a have not, but I don't get the advantage of the HOH comp because guess what? I can't play in said HOH comp. The odds were not in my favor. So right now, I'm just hoping one of my boys wins so I don't have to worry this week. I think it's in my nostril holes. <laughs>